Hello everyone. So far we have learned in thermodynamics, internal energy, enthalpy and entropy. Now we are going to learn something new, which are Gibbs free energy and Helmholtz free energy. Gibbs free energy is detected by G and Helmholtz free energy is detected by A. In some books it is also detected by F. And another name of Helmholtz free energy is work function. We are using the term A here, not F. Okay. So what is the definition of Helmholtz free energy or work function? It is the difference between the internal energy and the product of temperature and entropy. Okay, so what about its physical significance? I, I am going to that physical significance and you will also understand this gradually. Right now just come to know that is this is the amount of uh, this this is the dimension of energy and some energy is subtracted from the internal energy. That means this is some kind of available energy. Okay, and this is called the free, free energy at constant volume actually. And the free energy at constant pressure is the Gibbs free energy, which is actually the difference of the enthalpy and the product of temperature and entropy. Okay, so all of them have the dimension of energy, and both of them uh, are the state functions. So the differentiation of A is actually du minus TDS minus SGT, and we know the value of du from the fundamental equation. It is TDS minus PDV. So let us put this value here. So TDS minus PDV is here instead of DU. It is put here and here the third and the fourth term and the second and the third term here becomes third and the fourth term. So it is minus TDS minus STT and TDS TDS cancelled by each other. So only the terms left are minus PDV and minus STT. This way we are getting the fundamental equation number C. Okay. So we are um, getting the third fundamental equation of thermodynamics for a closed system. Okay. Now let's differentiate equation number 2 which is the expression of G equals G and the expression is G equals to H minus TS. So its differentiation should be what? DG equals to DH minus TDS minus STT. Here DH also has its own value according to the fundamental equation of thermodynamics. It is TDS minus plus VDP and let's put this value TDS plus VDP then minus TDS minus SDT then TDS TDS cancelled by each other only the terms which are left are VDP minus SDT and this way we are getting the fourth fundamental equation of thermodynamics for a closed system okay so these are the idea about free energy Gibbs free energy and Helmholtz free energy or work function and Gibbs free energy is actually the most important part of thermodynamics it, it would determine the chemical potential of a system and it would determine whether a chemical reaction would occur or it would go to equilibrium or it would not occur or even it would occur to the backward direction. So G is a very, very, very important function in thermodynamics. So that's all for today's lecture. Thank you and have a nice day.